Shalom, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zev Porat, and we're here to celebrate Israel Independence Day, as prophesied in the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 8. Can a nation be born in a day? As we stand together with Israel in this Independence Day, let's pray for their salvation. Let's stand together as the one new man, Ephesians 2.15, and bring the gospel back to Jerusalem and go home. In the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 4, those took Moabite wives. The name of the one was Orpah, and the name of the other was Ruth. Orpah in, the, in Hebrew means to turn the back. Ruth in Hebrew means a friend. And we know that Ruth was a friend of Israel. Orpah turned their back to Israel. And we read in the book of Ruth, chapter 2, verse 23, So Ruth stayed close to the woman of Boaz to glean until the barley and wheat harvests were finished. So the barley harvest is Passover, and the wheat harvest is Shavuot, Pentecost. So we see that Ruth was a friend of Israel, who also celebrated the feasts of the Lord. The Bible says all of us have fallen short of the glory, but through Yeshua the Messiah, we become righteous. Through Him we become high priests. In the book of Numbers, chapter 6, verses 24 to 26, is the Aramaic blessing. This blessing is really given from the Lord. The one that's praying it is just a mediator. One thing I want to bring out is this prayer is not a plural blessing. It's a singular blessing in Hebrew, which means God is blessing each one, one by one, in a singular blessing. This is an enormous blessing. I want to pray this blessing today on Israel as they celebrate Independence Day, and I want to pray it on you and your family members in the name of Yeshua. May the blessing of Israel be upon you. Panav elecha Veyasem lecha Shalom B'Shem Yeshua HaMashiach In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah Amen May the blessing of Israel be upon you Shalom from Israel